A great job, finally. What is the sense? Do you think we've got the project then? That's that. Am I overreacting? I don't know. What if he has someone? Um, guys, any ideas? It can be said that the project was done great. Hello everybody, my name is Dmitry, I'm 35 years old and I'm an engineer. And for more than 13 years of my life, my team and I, we are doing business in petrochemicals and oil refining. We are developing process the same as equipment. Besides the work, I love to spend time with my family. I have a wife Irina, daughter Zlata, you'll see them. Additionally, I like to play soccer and do other things like a usual man. We started this video project to tell you about our life, how we're doing scientific things, how we combine it with our personal life, how our loved ones react to it. Stay with us! We argued a lot, but on result we found great solutions. My name is Nico, I am an engineer, I graduated a technological institute. My experience in processing business overcomes 10 years. I am a CEO in our company. Despite of the fact that I am a CEO, I usually help our team in design and manufacturing equipment. Engineer is more a lifestyle. I like everything related to the cars, especially to rebuild and tune them. In addition, I like bar culture and mixology. It's cool to create new cocktails. There were a lot of technical issues which we met and step by step we overcame them and surpassed ourselves. Hello guys, my name is Sergei, I'm 31 years old, process chemical engineer, PhD in physical chemistry, specialty 020004, but who need these numbers? It's better to mention that in our team I'm a guy who's responsible for science, who can solve any problem, do it fast, with cheek and sparkle and at highest quality. That's me. For me, work is a diagnosis, and it takes all my free time, and the rest miserable part of it I love to spend with my lovely wife, to read the books, watching the TV shows together, and now, thanks to Dmitry and filming the project, this part of the time tends to zero. What really matters for us is safety of works and keeping the highest quality. Despite of the issues with customers' feet, with its specificity, it can be stated that we have done the great job. And as it usually happens with every cool story, everything started with an absolutely typical day. I need to tell guys, 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 guys. What's happened? We've taken the project. Great, congrats. A great job, finally. What is the final cost? At cost price. Ha, <laughs> great. Not even a small margin? No. What is the sense? Come on, guys, as we discussed, it's a large customer, plus we'll increase our portfolio. What about the technical side? There are some technical issues you might remember. We'll add a number of heat traces, I believe it's gonna be easy. Okay, we can adjust the budget. Maybe we'll get some profit. As usual, you're too much pessimistic. You'd better be glad, as we, guys and me. The project was really important for us. First of all, the customer was a huge company for whom we performed complex oil refining solutions in the past. Secondly, the project was international. Because of the fact that we are an R&D company, it's usual thing that we work on the projects, the results of which are hard to predict. Each step could contain uncertainties and issues and we had to rapidly solve them. Regarding this project, we were sure that we would complete it. Besides, uh, we wanted to guard this reference and use it in the relevant spheres. We were frustrated that the customer was getting along with conclusion of agreement. A lot of calls, more and more versions of proposal, but in result the 
agreement was concluded and we started to work. The purpose of the project was to produce bitumen from customer's feet and we plan to apply typical vacuum distillation for this purpose. A main problem was the specific feed which was produced by special technology of the customer. We are planning to finish the project in six weeks. And it will take two weeks for unexpected factors. Perfect. What about the unit? The unit is ready for startup. We'll start as soon as the feed arrives. Sounds great. Super. Let's begin. Have a good day. Bye. Vizzy, why did you say the unit was ready? We need at least one month. And what did you expect? Tell the truth, it's not ready. And you think we got the project then? Just stop. Actually, we had a problem with the unit. It was laying out of commission in the warehouse. But it's a usual practice that we reassemble the unit each time. Considering the features of the project, specific requirements of the customer. In addition to this, I was hoping that paperwork and agreement conclusion will take much longer period of time providing us with extra time for unit installation. I was worried that we stayed one month for the work, especially when the unit was dismounted and the customer didn't know about it. But we believe it in us. Frankly speaking, Nikola was too much optimistic about our possibilities, as I was thinking at the moment. Because in order to start working, we had to develop the unit scheme and only then to start its assembly. But guys couldn't find a common denominator. They were always arguing where to buy components, what components, which technical features to apply, whom to hire, what working schedule to apply. And when the guys were out to get some coffee, I was sure they were arguing which coffee was better for the project, cappuccino or americano. As soon as we developed the scheme and approved it with the customer, we had to rapidly bring it to life. And because of the fact that the work amount was huge and it was really critical and it had to be done in the shortest period, all of us decided to take to the field to help our working team. Nikolai, the top manager of the company, I am the manager of the project, and Sergey, who is the driver of the science and progress in our company. So guys, let's get started. And you believe we will make it here in two weeks? I do. According to the plan, we had two weeks for the installation. For your information, installation of the unit includes assembling the automatic cabinet, assembling the electrical part, piping the equipment, installation the equipment, hydraulic testing, pneumatic testing. It's a huge work. Working and the unit became a real nightmare. You spend there 17 hours a day. You are trying to get timing right. You are giving full play to this. You don't have time to have a rest, to sit down, even to have a lunch. You are not able to come home and forget about the project because it comes to you in your night dreams. You wake up in the early morning and you are trying to get as soon as possible to the unit and get everything done. And you realize that time is running out. Right, and mention that you had to always be in contact with the customer. You had to prepare daily reports, to answer the letters, to be in excess. It's really hard, physically and emotionally. We equipped the unit with extra heat tracing, applied other means which worked well on the paper. Initially, we planned the project will take just one month. Because of the overworking, the problems with our loved ones started to raise. Just imagine that your spouse comes at 2-3 o'clock in the morning, doesn't pay much attention to you, and it happens each day. It's really hard. Anyone can understand this. Nasta, I even don't know. It's 11 p.m. now. Where is he? Not picking up his phone, not texting me back. Am I overreacting? I don't know. What if he has someone? Hey, 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 let's move it. Pick it up and move. What the f? Pick it up and move. Dima, move the shit. 
Come on, come on, come on. It's half past eleven. What the fuck are you waiting? The only one positive moment was that we squeezed into two weeks deadline. And then the fit has come. Video report for the customer. Fit has come. Let's open it. Our money. Um, guys, any ideas? What's this? And why they didn't tell us? That's not liquid. Make a try. I'll call the customer and we'll discuss it. Maybe they sent the wrong barrel and we can process this. The feed is completely solid. The unit design is not ready for this. Dmitry, we send you a technical specification for this. And we cannot shift the timing after agreement sign. When you are planning to make a first run. We planned in two days. But now we need to make a revision of the unit. Okay, great. And I think we will send our process guide to participate and check with you how this feed can be handled and distilled. I hope this will be fine. Yeah, bye. It changed everything. The feed was solid. In order to feed it in the unit, it was needed to heat it up to 100-120 degrees C. We could make problems on every stage. We needed to pump the feed out from the barrel. We needed to transfer it inside the unit while it was hot enough. It could freeze inside the pipes or even inside the column. I wish I could say I was nervous, but in reality it was a real panic. And you know how to work with a typical feedstock, but the one we got, it was a huge problem. In general, we had understanding how to carry out the process on specific feed. We realized that it was necessary to heat the column up to higher temperatures. To heat up the piping, we increase the heat insulation, but we could get the exact data only during the first run. We had to work with what we had in the moment and to hope for the best. Supporting each other. Loving each other. What else? Hoping for each other. Hoping for each other. Serge, let's go. Jim, what time is it? They're coming in three hours. Ah, oh, Let's have it. Hello. Hello. Everything is ready, I have prepared the vessel. So we are ready for the customer? Yep. And where is Nikolai? I'll check him. Nico, wake up. They'll come in three hours. Let's make it. Final steps? Not sure. Hope for good. Finally, the customer has arrived. We were really stressed out. And the first run began.